हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव वॉच द ऑब्जेक्टिव वीडियो ऑफ चैप्टर थ्री सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द चैप्टर फाइबर टू फेब्रिक बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द चैप्टर आई वॉन्ट टू टेल दिस इज द सिंपलेस्ट चैप्टर यू विल लर्न इन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ साइंस सो लेट्स बिगिन चैप्टर स्टार्ट विद द ब्यूटिफुल स्टोरी वे पहली एंड बोजो वॉन द competition of science quiz and using their prize money they want to buy clothes for their parents so they went to a clothes shop where variety of clothes are available with different types of fabric the shopkeeper explained there are some natural fabric and clothes and there are some synthetic fabric and clothes the shop had muffler and shawls made up of wool and the shop also have silk sari so pehli and bozo bought woolen muffler and sari cotton sari after their visit to the clothes shop bozo and pehli began to notice there are different kind of fabric and clothes available in their house as you all know in our house also there are different types of fabric and clothes are available i want to give you a simple task where you have to make a list of any five fabric surrounding you you can take help of your parents okay so bojo and paheli notice bed sheets blankets curtain table clothes towel and dusters were made up of different kinds of fabric as i have given you task you also find there are many materials with different type of fabrics even their school bags and gunny bags were made from different kind of fabric they tried to identify this fabric as cotton wool silk or there are synthetic fiber we will also do this type of table or activity in our assignment or in coming videos where we have to classify different material or different things such as curtains bed sheet in different types of fabric for example blankets made up of maybe wool okay curtain made up of silk okay so we will see that so from this we can say that there are many varieties of clothes or fabric are available so if we are talking about clothes it is made up of fabric and if we talk about fabric it is made up of yarn and yarn is made up of fiber we will see that in detail okay so from that particular activity or story we can say that there are many different types or varieties of fibers or fabrics are available okay students okay students so in the next activity they are telling us to take a fabric like this and from this fabric they want us to find a particular yarn yarn is like this have you can you see that is it visible yes yarn is like this this yarn is made up of many fibers if you look at the one end of a yarn you can see the different fibers if i open this yarn can you see that yes this particular yarn is made up of many fibers so to better understand yarn and fabric we have to first learn about the fiber so what is fiber this single thread like thin elongated what do you mean by elongated elongated means the substance or material which can be stretch which can be stretch or extend up to certain limit so the fiber is thin elongated thread like material okay as we have see more than one fiber if we put two fiber together and spin like this can you see that this can form yarn and yarn can form fabric from fabric 
we can wear different types of clothes so fabric are made up of fiber and fiber are made up so clothes are made up of fabric fabric are made up of yarn and yarns are made up of many fibers so are you clear with the definition of fiber the first most important definition of this chapter that is fiber it is thin elongated and thread like material in your textbook they have given the thin strands of thread that we see strands means this particular threads okay strands we see are made up of still thinner strands called fiber is it clear student what is fiber thin elongated thread like material or in other word a thin strands of thread that we see are made up of more thinner strands we have already seen if we consider this yarn if we consider this yarn this yarn is made up of more thinner more thinner threads okay so this thinner threads are nothing but fiber okay students so where does this fiber comes from as we have already seen fibers comes from either natural resources or can be made by human the fiber which are obtained from natural resources such as plants and animals this fiber are known as natural fibers is it clear as given in the book cotton jute silk wool are the example of the natural fiber so as we have already learned cotton and jute are the example of the fiber which are obtained from plants and silk and and wool and silk are the example of the fiber which are obtained from animals next they have given us sources of wool from where wool can be available they have mentioned wool can be available from sheep goat rabbit camel and yak the hair fleece they have used word fleece fleece means hair hair this hair in our hindi or gujarati we call it ruwati is it clear so this facial or body hair are known as fleece so they have mentioned the animals such as sheep goat camel rabbit and yak these are the animals which give us wool okay and in the next line they have given silk from where silk is obtained it is obtained from cocoon of silk worm so you might think what is cocoon sir cocoon is nothing but a house or home of silk worm or you can say outer covering of a silk worm you will learn this cocoon of silk worm in detail in the next standard so don't worry for now just remember it is a house of silk worm or outer covering of silk worm so we have seen the natural fibers and where they are obtained from they are obtained from plants and animals we have also seen the example such as silk wool where are they obtained from they obtained from silk worm sheep goat yak camel etc etc is it clear very good now the next important topic is synthetic fiber so what is synthetic fiber your grand 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 grandparents it's around about 1000 year ago they only have natural fibers they have clothes made up of only natural fibers but in the last 100 year there are some fibers which are used or which are made using chemical okay so the fiber which are made up of chemical 
which are not obtained from plants and animals that is not obtained from natural resources made by human man made or artificial such fiber are known as synthetic fiber and the examples of synthetic fibers are we have, we have already discussed in objectives the example of synthetic fibers are polyester yes very good then nylon yes rayon acrylic they have not given rayon in the textbook but you can add comma and write down rayon it is also a synthetic fiber is it clear students we have seen what are natural fibers and we have also seen what are synthetic fiber now please write down the definition for synthetic fiber i have already given definition of natural fiber or fiber but now please write down definition for synthetic fiber a fiber which are made up of chemical substances and not using natural resources such fiber are known as synthetic fiber and write down another definition a fiber made using chemical by human beings in laboratories are known as synthetic fiber now you will say sir we have to write down in notebook no beta just write down in your textbook okay just write below the definition of synthetic fiber okay you have to write in your textbook only using pencil so while you reading the chapter while you are preparing the chapter you will know these are the other definition for synthetic fiber is it clear students we have completed the natural fibers and synthetic fibers if anyone has any doubt till now if anyone doesn't understand any word or letter or any topic till now up to synthetic fiber then please write down in the comment or contact me i have also given contact number in your chats okay students thank you